looking healthier than ever and sun-kissed with a tan, Mike Littlewood, the BYU baseball coach, has probably one of the coolest T-shirts I've ever seen on right now. Look at that. Just do it in huge block letters. Is it Nike or Shia LaBeouf? What's the motivation? It's my own motto. <laughs> it's my your own model. Own, your yeah. own model. The Mike <laughs> like I told you, I'm hoping it catches on. I think it will. <laughs> it was figure it out. Now it's yeah. just do well, it. Well, figure it out's always going to be there. If Bronson Larson's around, figure it out is always going to be there. <laughs> Speaking of good mustaches. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Welcome back to Studio B, man. What have you been up to? Great to be up. Just traveling and looking for players. That's That's been the, kind of the whole key to the summers. Uh, and it's, it's weird going out and watching, like, 2019 grads and 2018 grads. I mean, these kids are not in high school yet, and we're, we're trying to evaluate them, and, and uh, especially the LDS kids who we can't miss on at all. And if they go on a mission, it's going to be like, I might not be here anymore. It's like seven years down the road. <laughs> you know, Like we were talking, you walk in every summer and go, hey, do I still have a job? And so, <laughs> hey, we, if we cross our fingers and they, they show up and we show up, it should be, uh, we should be pretty good seven years down the road. We noticed that uh, several of the Cougars in the minors, and we keep tabs on them here, of course, uh, are doing well, including Jacob Bregman, who's in AAA, yeah. knocking on the door, potentially of getting into the majors. Uh, he went seven for nine over the weekend uh, in two games. Could he be called up in September to the A's? You think when they expand rosters by fifteen players? Yeah, no, I think he's got a great uh, a great opportunity to do that. In fact, uh, my son Marcus was called up to AAA, drove from uh, about a week ago, and actually played in Nashville against Brug. He got a picture together. It was kind of cool with Tacoma. With right. Tacoma, yeah. And so um, I, I talked to Bruggy a little bit. He went four for five like two nights ago, and I think he got three hits last. I mean, he's just. He's a hitting machine, hitting like three, three ten right now. Goodness, playing center field. I think he's had, uh, you know, probably a hundred Sports Center top tens. <laughs> this, he's just, he's doing everything well. When I watched him up in Salt Lake, he looked really comfortable. I would say he's, if not this year, I, I would think he's got a good chance. The only thing is, there we were talking about before, Nashville's in in the playoffs, um, and so whether he stays in AAA to play in the playoffs or if they call him up, uh, either way, I, I hope he gets an opportunity in, in September, at some point. Do you see any other guys this season making the jump to the major leagues and that have BYU ties anyway? I don't see it this year. No, I don't see it this year. Adam Law's having a great year. He got traded to um, Jack, the Jackson Generals, played with with Marcus. Yeah, yeah played with Marcus. Um, whether Marcus goes back down or, or stays up there, I mean, because they're in the playoffs as well. Um, he's hitting – Adam's hitting 310 or something like that, having a, a great summer. Adam Miller had surgery, um, thoracic outlet syndrome surgery. That's what I, Nick Emery had. Is that, is that what he had? Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we've had a couple of pitchers that had symptoms that way. It's kind of a kind of a new thing um, that we're that we're learning about. But um, in fact, he he had on Instagram. He's holding his rib uh, up there, so it was kind of cool. It was in a bag. <laughs> Isn't that cool. It, it was in a bag. <laughs> well, he didn't. He showed the, he showed a scar, and I'm like, hey, show us the rib because I I had yeah. seen it like through a text. <laughs> Matt, Matt Harvey had that same surgery, yeah. by the way, for the Mets. Yeah. yeah. So. You know, I don't know. He said he's going to be thrown in two months, and so th wow. it, that looks great. Hanneman's hurt. Uh, he dove and hurt his – hurt his. he's got a pin sticking out his – so if you can get past injuries, man, that's that's mm. a whole key, just like we found out last year with, with our team. Oh, Hanneman dove while he was trying to make one of his top ten sports center <laughs> catches that he has done so often. I always make fun of him because, like, okay, easy, easy, easy dive. You know, instead <laughs> of just run and catch it, he's like, let me time this so I can dive. <laughs> I got to make it look good. Yeah, yeah. I got to get noticed. Yep. Mike Littlewood, the BYU baseball coach, with us in Studio B on BYU Sports Nation. You have compiled your 2017 schedule, recently released it, and you want to have a good season. So those recruits that come in 2025 are uh, super impressed, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> if they remember this this next year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, great schedule. Trent Pratt put together a, a great schedule again for us. Um, go down to Georgia Tech uh, early in the season. What what sticks out to me is Santa Barbara's coming coming here. That's going to be you know World Series team this year. Uh, that's going to be tough. We we kind of owe them. They they took they took uh, care of us a couple years ago with uh, a couple first rounders they had on their team uh, two years ago. But they're a great great program. Um, Connecticut coming in and and uh, they were a regional team a couple years ago. And it, it just from start to finish, it's just a tough, tough schedule. And, and we, we've talked a lot about how, how tough the West Coast Conference is. I think it's an underrated conference. It's a team, we may not have the depth, one through nine on the hitting side, and, and maybe one through 10 on the, uh, on the pitching side is maybe a, a power five. But um, we feel like the top three teams can match up with anybody in, in, in the country. And that's what we felt like last year, the first half, until we had a few injuries. So love our, love our schedule. Um, Last year, we I just talked to Kevin Kindred, our, our marketing guy, um, 
we averaged over 1,600 fans last year, which was wow. nice. which was absolutely incredible. I mean, we four or five sellouts. I mean, we just it was, if we can repeat that, that would that would be amazing. We need to do our part though, and and I doubt we'll be 23 and three to start the season. <laughs> but uh, and so I don't want people like well, why 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 do they stink this, this year? Stink. They're not 20, you know, they're only like 17 and eight. Why yeah. what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, we feel like we have a really good group of guys coming back and and a lot of new faces but um love i i love where our program is right now in the feel of it the culture is this schedule rpi friendly because that was a conversation i know you had the pitching injuries and that really derailed things it did is is this rpi friendly to where okay if we if we have a good season we're going to be in a position on selection monday yeah we there's not a there's not an easy team on our on our schedule uh go to i think believe we go to bakersfield this year but um that's going to be another another tough series planned at Bakersfield. But, I've you know, the RPI is great. I've, I've always felt like if you just win the games on your schedule, your RPI is going to be going to be high. Gonzaga last year, they played 12 home games, something like that, the, the entire season. And so they didn't play that, that tough of a schedule, but they won all their games, you know. I mean, hmm. that's why they had such uh, a, a great RPI. And so I think strength of schedule is, is one small part of that. Uh, but it, it depends on who you play and how then they play against uh, everybody else. And so a lot goes into it. For me, it's like just put together the best schedule you can and try to win those games. And that's what it comes down to for me. You lost Mike Rucker, who was, you know, an incredible pitcher, to say the least, had one of the best seasons in BYU baseball history. He's obviously on to the majors. What do you bring back on your pitching staff right now? I know you get Maverick Buffo back from an injury, but what, who else is going to be there, and who do you expect to contribute in a starting rotation? Yeah, well, I think we have five or six guys who could step in there, uh, but uh, you look at Maverick Buffo, who's thrown a couple pins, and he feels really good right now. Uh, Kendall Motes was going to be in our starting rotation, and we got three innings out of him last year before he had four bone chips taken out. Brady Corliss uh, redshirted last year, who – He's a guy who's 91-93 with a four-pitch mix. If he can just learn how to get hitters out, you know, that's the big thing for him. Um, we have um, Aaron Cross. We just signed a left-hander from Grossmont. I mean, no, plus all the guys. Right? No, Kenny Signs from Oklahoma transfer. He'll redshirt. Oh, Cross can play. Yeah, right Aaron Cross, can, he can play. Right. Yeah, he can play immediately. So not talking Hayden Rogers. I mean, just a ton of guys we have coming back as well. So I, I feel really good about, uh, about our pitching staff. When you look at Colton Shaver – uh, who went and played in the Cobb, Cape Cod League, Daniel mm -hmm. Schneeman, Keaton Kringlin. Uh, maybe there were others who played too that I'm unaware of. What, what kind of improvement have you seen or what's the discussion been like as they played summer ball? Well, most – we kind of make everybody – and not like we force them to, but it's kind of like if you want your scholarship back, you're going to go play. <laughs> um, <laughs> voluntary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, unless they're married. You know, married guys are a little bit different situation, which we have probably two, two dozen of those guys. I don't know. We have at least a dozen, I think. But um, – it, it's just like another season. I mean, they're just getting those at-bats. And for Schneeman, he got a, an opportunity to play shortstop in Chico, which was good for us because uh, he may or may not be the heir apparent there, but he, he got 60 games at shortstop, that uh, 50 or 60, that he has that experience against college guys and, and the speed of the game is a little bit different at short than it is at second or third. And so coming into our fall season, we would expect him to be able to make all the plays just like Hayden uh, Hayden Nielsen did for us last year. Hayden Nielsen, by the way, is going to be our undergraduate assistant. Um, and we just we were able to hire an ops guy, a uh, baseball operations guy, Tuckett Slade. So he starts today. So, you know, things are – we're trying to just make every part of this program top-notch and not let anything slide through the cracks. But I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. And that's, I think, why I wore this today. You know, as we, as we got guys coming in and school starts next Monday uh, – just, just do it. Let's go do it. Just make sure Hayden has his lawn mowing business in order <laughs> before he Believe comes to Believe it or not, we've had, a talk, we've had a talk about that. So, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we heard uh, in a couple weeks, like three weeks, you have a uh, your annual golf tournament. I know there's like a $500 fee to get in, and apparently it's sold out. Is there any way to get us in that? Um, we Bagley? could talk about a trade. We could talk about a trade. Okay. Actually, it's How about we have you on the show, like regularly, and then we get into the golf tournament? Um, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> so you guys, it, it's sold out. There's a spot for you guys. But it's September. It's Friday, September 16th. Um, the there's a bunch of really good golfers in this thing. So, and I know you guys would fit in perfect with that. <laughs> Spencer would. Oh, my goodness. It's at Talon's Cove, 8 o'clock. 
you might you might have a show if you can get oh, off. 8 a.m. Oh, if you can yeah. get off, you're welcome to play September 16th. Mm. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit sick on September 16th. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go represent us. <laughs> I will shoulder the burden. Talents well, Cove to just so guys. happens to love be to five minutes guys. away from my front door as well. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, the alum our alumni have, have been uh, have been just tremendous to us. Um, it's sold out. That's it's great. sold out in in about three weeks, and um, you know it's. Of course, they pay 125 a person. We give probably $200 worth of swag to them. So that's probably the reason they, they come out. But <laughs> no matter what we do, first pitch dinner, which is going to be in, at the end of January, we have a great speaker for that. Um, they just support and support and support, and that's one reason why I think our program's headed in the right direction. Hey, support BYU baseball. Just do just it. Just do it. Mike, great to talk to you again, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Keep up the good work.